Who's the person that's number one on that invitation list? Leonardo DiCaprio. And I can get on that list, yes, right? Yes, without a doubt, you are invited. Dude, when Homeland Security invade your house. You got problems. With dudes with the armor. There's Forget Someone said that they weren't there to take stuff. They were there to delete everything. Like the real people that were in there, you know. Oh, like that's the funny. With Epstein. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's fine. Of course. There's layers upon layers. <laughs> they never end. There's just layers upon layers upon layers. Like, you got a wild party. You also have those, uh, those celebrity environments where celebrities all get together, and there's so many of them, you know, and these wild parties. And if you got a wild party and... P. Diddy puts on that wild party. And I'll show you this clip of LeBron James speaking about how much he loves a Diddy party. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. And so where is LeBron James, who has elected himself the mayor of speaking out when nobody cares to hear his opinion? Because if you're telling me that you use your, your platform to speak out when there are black victims, there sure as hell seems to be a lot of them when it comes to Diddy. Me out. Is it plausible that the reason that LeBron James is opting to be so quiet is because when he read that lawsuit and realized that Diddy had cameras everywhere, unbeknownst to his party goers at these freak offs, is it plausible that he's got LeBron James doing something that he wouldn't want made public? I don't know. I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking for the king to use his platform to speak to us peasants. Diddy, who is now 54, is at the center of a shocking legal storm that has captivated the media and public alike. He was recently arrested and indicted in the Southern District of New York, and he's now facing some pretty serious charges, including racketeering, sex trafficking, and trafficking individuals for the purpose of engaging in prostitution. The seriousness of these claims has sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, showing a worrying side to a figure who has long been celebrated for his contributions to music and culture. It's been reported that Diddy is accused of coercing women into taking part in what have been described as elaborate and manufactured sexual performances. These acts are said to be grotesque and deeply disturbing. In a series of revelations that have only intensified public scrutiny, investigators conducting searches at Diddy's properties discovered an alarming thousand bottles of baby oil. This detail alone makes people sit up and take notice, prompting many to question just how extensive the alleged activities may have been. Prosecutors say that the women involved in these events were subjected to marathon sex sessions, so exhausting that they needed IV drips to recover. This paints a pretty disturbing picture of Diddy's lifestyle, suggesting that the opulence he displays may be hiding some pretty dark secrets. If it were just him, it would be sad. It would be very unfortunate. But I use the word scary because I get the impression, to put it kindly, that his life ain't the only life that's gonna be affected. That they ain't after him just to get him. You got Homeland Security involved, you got the feds involved. I got news for you, they ain't coming just for him. They coming for a whole bunch of people. No Diddy. That's not what I was talking about, Sean, when I wrote the baby oil song. It's bigger than Diddy, bro.
Cause you know who else they was doing investigation on during that whole time period? It was the mayor and the politicians in New York City. They turn around, give him the city, the key to the city. All the mayor people that he brought on here in New York City are all resigning. It's, they all resigning. People ain't going to tie this together, but if you look at it, you have to say, because of Mayor Adams and his relationship with Diddy, it brought on the Southern District of New York to start investigating Diddy on civil lawsuits that was put against him. Because the feds is going after all these politicians in New York City. As a result of these disturbing claims, the infamous white parties that Diddy hosted at his East Hampton home are also being investigated. These lavish parties were known for attracting some of America's biggest celebrities, including Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton, and Leonardo DiCaprio. A photo from the 2000 White Party has emerged, showing a young Leonardo DiCaprio in a casual white t-shirt, looking relaxed and jovial alongside Diddy. It's worth noting the connection between the two icons, particularly given Diddy's public admiration for DiCaprio. Back in 1998, Diddy publicly named DiCaprio as the number one person on his guest list for the exclusive white party invitations, which cemented their association in the public eye. This connection was further highlighted during a 2018 appearance on Vogue's 73 Questions, where Diddy, without a moment's hesitation, named DiCaprio as his preferred invitee while casually handing the interviewer a drink. This close relationship has prompted a lot of questions, particularly now that Diddy's legal issues are making headlines. Fans and observers are wondering if this connection might have deeper implications. To get uh, Prince William and Prince Harry to, uh, to a Diddy party. I don't think, not, not, not anymore. I mean, before, you know. <laughs> Trust me, they're off the list. <laughs> Less, but you know, before when they were young bucks growing up and they were getting in a lot of trouble themselves. So, hey, I was like, why don't you come hang out with me? You've got this client. Um, you plan to file the suit this week. There hasn't been um, a lot of detail about it, but I think you can reveal a little more tonight about exactly what your client says Diddy did to her. Tell, tell us a little more if you can, even though the suit's not officially been filed. Yes, I'll have the suit filed. Uh sometime this week, probably in the next couple of days. Um, it's just in editing right now, just to get the final touches on it, just to make sure we haven't missed any causes of action. I think as it stands right now, we're at 19 causes of actions from sexual assault, sexual battery, of course, RICO uh, charges and uh, sex trafficking. But essentially my client was raped by Mr. Combs his bodyguard and a friend who invited my client to his home to set up this whole situation. It, the details are graphic in nature and the complaint lays out all of the details in the graphic, just deplorable way my client was victimized in that day or in that night rather, and her harrowing escape and how she was able to finally get away and manage to get to safety after the gruesome attack. 100 victims, One. more than two dozen of those future plaintiffs. How does that even make sense? 100 victims. This is just one one phase of the allegations and stuff like on top of that, he had allegations prior. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Diddy Combs on behalf of more than 100 victims, more than two dozen of those future plaintiffs say they were just Kid. Look, I try to share in life. I think that you learn that in kindergarten. And, um, you know, unfortunately, people forget that what they learned in kindergarten a lot of times. And so sharing is a part of it. You know, let, let other people utilize your crayons, too. It's OK. And so that's kind of how I live my life. You know what I'm saying? Like share when it's appropriate. Um, set the example when it's appropriate, when it's when it's in line with my vision. These kind of things are a consequence of those kinds of actions as opposed to it being like something I set out to 
do or contract. It wasn't planned, you know? Like everybody wants to paint themselves as a genius, but I don't I don't even know how I got here. All I know is I follow my bliss, you know what I'm saying? I do what I love, and here we are, you know what I mean? One of the biggest music executives currently was just arrested. I'm curious if you have any opinion on his arrest or the alleged act. No, I feel for his children. The rest I can't speak on. I mean, you know, that's what we got court system for, but I feel for his kids. Um, we want to thank you, come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed or nothing, no homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. You, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, you did it. No, 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 I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna, if we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed at all. I, I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. <laughs> but it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars yo, in the world. And I'm yo, like, what, what the, the f f Adding to the intrigue, a former drug dealer told the New York Post about some shocking things he saw at Diddy's lavish parties. He said he'd seen celebrities having sex with each other, which is a pretty stark contrast to the glamorous image these high-profile gatherings usually project. This insider's testimony not only reveals a potentially sordid side to Diddy's extravagant lifestyle, but also prompts an examination of the culture of celebrity excess that has long been romanticized in popular media. On top of that, the ongoing legal battle surrounding Diddy raises some important questions about the impact of celebrity power and the dynamics of accountability in Hollywood. The lavish parties, once seen as the epitome of glamour and exclusivity, now seem tainted by these allegations, creating a dissonance between the public persona Diddy has cultivated and the chilling realities that have emerged from this investigation. Diddy's lawyer had this to say about why he had so much baby oil. How do you explain the baby oil and the a thousand bottles of baby oil? Uh, I don't think it was a thousand. I think it was a lot. I mean, there's a Costco right down the street. You know, I think Americans buy in bulk, as we know. Um, and, you know, this is this is consensual adults doing what consensual adults do. Imagine being a parent and shopping at the same Costco as Diddy and there's just never any baby oil. And you're like, where the f is all the baby oil. Diddy's out here just having daily slip and slide parties with Meek Mill. Meanwhile, the Costco never has any goddamn baby oil. And there's just no way to convince me that this is a coincidence. They're gonna try and tell me that it's just a coincidence that Johnson & Johnson are filing for bankruptcy after their number one customer gets put in jail. Something about this man's response and that smile just tells me that he's been to a couple of those Diddy parties. <laughs> But I felt very, very good because yeah. I knew the size of the lady game. Uh, right. Yeah. No, did it, Pete Paul? Now I'm just saying. I just knew. <laughs> I just because you know I know they just wait. They wait. They <laughs> wait on you. We knew the. Le I'm talking about in basketball terms. Don't y'all be going this. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just the one time. I'm saying it for Ocho and I on nightcap. No, did it. <laughs> we knew the lady game cars were too big for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Right. That size, six foot seven Cardosa. Mm. You had a uh, Watkins. I just want you to, you know what these rappers all these singers, all these big rappers y'all y'all look up to? They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get they, they they dealing with emo spirits. They dealing with kids themselves. Kids have like an hour left, so get extra comfortable, kids. Because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. Okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. Then an hour, we put the kids away. It's all good. 
Hey, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, man. Some videos that are surfacing of Justin Bieber at a Diddy party, and they are horrific. I'm talking truly and utterly horrific. Justin is at Diddy's parties, and in this one video, it looks like whatever Justin is doing, I'm not going to show it out of just respect for the fact that I truly believe that Justin Bieber is a victim. But whatever he is doing in this video with Trey Song and the prayers, to hopefully one day find within him, himself the strength to speak out about what happened. Anyways, it seems to be that it is all falling down in Hollywood. We will uh, continue to monitor that story, but I do encourage everybody to pray. Are you listening to my entertain? None of this nonsense and nothing over the phone. I, I'm gonna need you to get rid of all the leftover pizza boxes. You know what? All the boxes left over from the pizza. All the boxes. Okay. Make sure you recycle the plastic like we talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Jay reach out yet? Nah, Bob. He ghosting. As the story unfolds, the links between Diddy and DiCaprio's lives remain a key source of interest. The public is often fascinated by the dynamics between celebrities, which can lead to speculation about the extent of their relationships and the secrets they may hold. Could Diddy's recent legal issues affect DiCaprio's reputation? While a source close to DiCaprio says he hasn't spoken to Diddy in years and denies any involvement in the alleged illicit activities, the sheer volume of allegations swirling around Diddy raises the question of how far-reaching the consequences of this scandal might be. And what are your thoughts on the connections between Diddy and DiCaprio, especially given the seriousness of Diddy's recent legal issues? Is there more to this story than what has been revealed so far? We'd love to hear your views in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates as this shocking saga continues to unfold. We'll keep you informed, so stay tuned for the latest developments in this captivating story. Joining me now, celebrity and royal reporter Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, Leonardo DiCaprio has been heckled in Paris. He's been at question about his attendance at a Diddy party. He's not used to that. I've got to say, he looks ridiculous. Kinsey is wearing a mask in 2024. He should be heckled for that. Uh, his personal life has been in the spotlight for a number of years now, Kinsey, but... His proximity to this Diddy scandal uh, surely can only hurt his image. 
Yeah, I'm going to give him credit here because he's one of the few celebrities that has actually tried to distance himself from the allegations, unlike everyone else who's just keeping their head down. A source close to Leonardo said that he hadn't had anything to do with Diddy for years. Uh, he never attended a freak off. So they specifically said he never attended a freak off and has nothing to do with this case. Uh, and the last known photo of them together is from 2019. So, you know, where's J-Lo? Where, you know, where are all of these other people? At least Leonardo is like, nope, not me. I don't want anything to do with this.